The Melvin family has nine little children, as Mr. Melvin used to put it, three and a half dozen children. How many arrangements are there for them to sleep in one triple bed and three double beds? So I'm going to draw a graphic down here. We will let a circle denote one of the Melvin children. And we will let uh, bars serve as we have in the past as partitions. And so basically what you've got is here's the triple bed takes care of three of them and then here's one of the double beds and another double bed and another double bed so that's what the uh, arrangement is each evening and the question is if uh, the Melvins for example want to uh, mix it up and just keep on shifting them around how long could they go shifting the children um, from bed to bed implicit in the problem statement here is that the position for example, left, right, or middle in this triple bed down here, occupied by the Melvins, is um, not relevant in terms of the sleeping arrangements. It turns out n is equal to 9. That's the number of children, Melvin children. Family, and, and they are being uh, partitioned into k equals 4 beds, 1, 2, 3, and 4 and there are three in the triple bed and then two two and two in each of the double beds so there are a total of nine choose three two 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 which is nine factorial divided by three factorial two factorial two factorial two factorial which is seven thousand five hundred and sixty different sleeping arrangements so this could go on for quite a while and uh, there is another way of solving this problem and let me just do it down here at the bottom another way of solving this problem is you could say when you're deciding how many go into the triple bed there are nine choose three different ways of doing that remember the order within the triple bed is not a, is not relevant here and then by the multiplication rule that can get multiplied by six choose two because there's six remaining children and you're choosing two for this bed and again by the multiplication rule there are four remaining here and finally you can also put in a two choose two to account for this far right hand double bed and that turns out also to be 7560 so for a lot of these counting problems there's two different ways of going at it in this case you are using partitions and down here you're using both combinations and the multiplication rule together to solve the problem.